Ever wondered how many burgers you've consumed in a year? Or how many fries you've devoured in a month? As we embark on this journey, let's delve into the realm of fast food, a world that's become a second home for many, and its implications on our health. On an average, a person might consume fast food about twice a week. That's over a hundred meals a year. Now think about the greasy burgers and the salty fries that constitute these meals. Each burger can have up to 30 grams of fat, and a large fries can carry up to 500 milligrams of sodium. Multiply these figures by 100, and you start to grasp the enormity of what we're consuming. The risks, high cholesterol, hypertension, heart disease, these aren't just words. They're real, looming threats that come with consistent fast food consumption. We're not just talking about a guilty pleasure, but a potential health hazard. Imagine what these numbers mean for your health. Meet John, a 45-year-old man who used to love his fast food meals. John lived for the convenience of drive throughs and takeouts, but his love for fast food came at a hefty price. He found himself grappling with obesity, high blood pressure, and heart disease, all byproducts of his unhealthy eating habits. And then we have Amy, a vibrant 25-year-old whose addiction to fast food led to a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes. She thought she was invincible, that youth would shield her from the consequences. She soon realized the bitter truth. Consider James, a father of two, who was forced to confront his fast food addiction when his children began to mirror his unhealthy habits. The sight of his young ones battling weight issues was a wake-up call. These are just a few stories among thousands. John, Amy, and James represent the harsh reality of excessive fast food consumption. John's story isn't unique. There are many out there experiencing the same health problems. We're not asking you to give up all your favorite foods, but to reconsider your fast food consumption. Imagine a life where your energy levels are consistently high, where you feel strong and healthy, where you're not held back by preventable health issues. This is the life that could be yours if you decide to cut down on fast food. Instead of a quick burger, how about a homemade sandwich filled with fresh ingredients? Instead of fries, how about a side of crunchy, colorful vegetables? Small changes like these can make a big difference. And it doesn't have to happen overnight. Start by reducing your fast food consumption by just one meal a week. Then gradually increase this until fast food becomes the exception, not the rule. Take a moment to reflect on your relationship with fast food. Isn't it time to make a positive change? Start today for a healthier tomorrow.